Oh, Look at that mute. He's holding so much water in his right. Look at him swimming. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, Aqua Beast. This is this is this is like this is, this is crunch time. Wild. This is crunch time right here. This is crunch time. Me and Dylan, he just bought a bunch of fish for the saltwater tank. We've been to fish stores all day. I just bought a incredible albino red ear slider. The uh, anyway, this is this is crunch time. But so we get my dad gets his email from a fish store owner that we've known, and uh, my dad's on graphics for him, so that's how he had to contact. Anyway, shoots us to this other guy. This guy had a 600 gallon tank with peacock bass a uh pearl stingray 26 inch arowana 22 inch arowana 18 inch clown knife I, apparently an albino arowana which you know he said he's not sure about i don't know we have to see it everything's it's just all a blur but my point is incredibly rare awesome giant fish and um he's like his tank started leaking and like leaked bad he had to put him in a kiddie pool and he's got like one filter running and he's like honestly i don't know how long they're gonna make make it in here my point is they need to be rescued you know we're gonna we're gonna pay for the fish uh, you know they're expensive fish but so we do have to pay for them but he he wants us to come get them and honestly he doesn't really know who else could who, who could stock these fish he's checked out the channel so he knows that like i know what i'm doing around here well i like to think so no but he knows like i've got the, the size and stuff for it so but the plan is i'm gonna clean out my huge trash can filter because a lot of them got to go in the pond and it's a huge biomass so i'm gonna clean that filter out it's been like honestly it's been a year i've been at school so it's not been cleaned, but that means that filter kicks ass what that means. So I'm gonna clean that out. It's 749, it's basically eight o'clock, and we've been at we've been doing fish stuff all day, but it's it's 749. So I don't know, I, I don't wanna get over there super late. So I'm trying to clean this as fast as possible so we can go get these, bring them back. It's gonna be dark, it's gonna be crazy. Make sure to stay tuned. These fish, you're not gonna wanna miss this. These fish are gonna be incredible, I'm thinking, once we see them. So let's start grinding. All right, so I, I mean, me and Dylan just got after it, so. Totally cleaned out the big trash can filter. Let me give you a view for those, those of you who pay attention and want to see. I mean, this thing's a unit, bunch of bio balls, bunch of lava rock, filter pads. It's, it kicked ass. Like I said, it was running for a year and honestly it wasn't even that bad. But then again, it runs through this first and that's all filter pads. So that was pretty, pretty gross. So we cleaned that out. So both those cleaned out and we drained a bunch of the pond. You can see it's all murky. Big P isn't happy with the murk, but um, it's all murky. Did a huge water change. There's plenty of beneficial bacteria. Big water change will not be a problem. And that's going to fill up while we hit the road. Um, honestly, it probably won't be full when we get back. But anyway, we're, I'm going to check on a shirt, grab some tubs, grab some aerators, and we're going to go see these giants. Stay tuned. If, if they're anything like the pictures and what he said, these things are, should be incredible. I don't even know what we're getting into, but it's – stay tuned. Well, we're hitting the road, baby. Scott. Scott, Scott's got the setup over here. And, and, you know, it started leaking, but it's actually sweet. The drip, he's got a drip system on it, so it didn't have to do any water changes. Check out the filtration on this thing, too. Absolutely incredible. Anyway, last minute leak. Had to go buy a pool pond, set it up, and let's just say there's some giants in there, and you'll see them when we go to net them here in a second. But no, just awesome guy. Appreciate him, uh, you know, getting in contact with us. And basically, we're buying some fish from him. So, uh, this, this, this ray is pretty incredible, and a couple big arowanas, and a golden clown knife, which is a monster too. But yeah, this is that's that's what you gotta do to keep your fish alive right there, baby. He's going in for the big arrow. Like he said, they're gonna, all chaos will break loose. Oh, it's going down now. I think that's a move though, like keep that on him, so if he jumps, he hits that. Oh, that's money. Oh, easy. <laughs> Here, I can hand it. Got him. And I'll close it once you get him in. Tell me when. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Money, giant in, giant in there. There we go, one down. He was he was nice about it too. Oh, look at that, money. money. The smaller arrow. Here, you got it, you got it. You got it. There we go, good stuff. All right, this clown is gorgeous, monster. You got it? Yeah, you ready with the lid? I got the lid, arrow in there. I had to jump out. Sorry, tell me when. I know, look at that. Look, doesn't get much better than that. The big one. The big one. Yeah, that's a unit. Absolute legend with that. Yeah, for real. He's taking them down, no problem. That thing is gorgeous. There it is. There it is. Money. I'm putting the camera down for this one. It's not for me. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Atta boy. Look at that. All right. Good news is you're not jumping out. Yeah, you might come out the side, but you ain't jumping. 
Look at that beast. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Look at that beaut. Also, like, they got teeth. Oh, I know. I've caught him in Miami. Look at that gorgeous peacock. He's figured he'd show off this butte. Yeah, he. that's a thick boy, too. And he's just not having it. But, yeah, that's a gorgeous peacock. That's awesome. But, yeah, so what? You got three peacocks left that you got to get rid of? Yep. And then that's it, though. He saved the fish. And, and this largemouth. I just love that there's a largemouth just chilling. But, anyway, everything's out of here. Into the tubs and out of the car. Let's ride. Load it up. Anyway, much appreciated, man. Sorry. You're the man. Threw him some merch, but uh, no, sick tank. And like I said, I'll try and do my best with these guys, but much appreciated. Let's All hit the right, road. we made it back. I think everything's chilling. I don't want to go too crazy because this is the red. It should be fine. Oh, she is chill. Oh my God, she is, dude. Dude, she is gorgeous, bro. She is really cool. Yeah, but she's doing just fine. Let's see. These guys, I don't, I don't, right? Yeah, it's a male. They're chilling in there. Don't want them to jump. They're chilling just fine. And then, I'm not even going to look in there, but every team, everyone seems to be doing just fine. We're going to carry these these bad boys down to the fish cave. We'll catch you then, baby. All right. Gosh, every time I see him, I'm reminded how awesome this stingray is. And, and, and he's got plenty of room. Right now, so anyway, so we're drip acclimating him, drip acclimating him. They're definitely both going in the pond. This big old golden clown's going in here. I don't want him to have to mess with my peacock. And I'm not... The, the golden clown's going in here. He's dripping. And I'm not positive about the last arowana. He might go in here or he might go in here. Oh, it's just That's a game time decision. But we'll find out. Right now, I'm moving the small red tail into the uh, the 120 because there's room for him. And uh, that way, the stingray and this cat have more room. So I, I just think... And then I'll take some bios. Gentlemen, the time has come. We're going stingray first. His temperatures are locked in. Um, this thing is incredible. It's. I've been struggling to acclimate because it's just... So much water just wasn't changing. And um anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna freaking do it. This guy's going in right now. Let's rock. Here's one last look at him. One last look. Oh my god, he is just gorgeous. He's he's huge. I mean, if put it into perspective, there's my foot. I mean he's a monster. Alright, let's do it. I don't know how the netting's gonna go, but hopefully he'll just be cooperative. Alright, so this guy, the owner, oh gosh, he was telling us that he will like he he's a serious uh oh see he's already getting he's already getting defensive i just need him to somehow get in here there we go there we go there we go come on buddy oh here we go here we go oh my gosh here he goes he's in here we go oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that mute he's holding so much water in his right look at him all right, buddy. all right all right buddy all right he's got some previous heater burns from being in that pool pond which will be just fine in here here he goes oh he's stuck again just be gentle about this. Oh, he's pulling. Okay, he ripped off. I don't know if it came off or what. He is in. Look at that. Dude, Dude. he makes the peacock look small. He makes the peacock actually kind of look like a sissy. But this is good. The peacock needs to learn a lesson. Oh, my God. The peacock's like, you are a monster. You are a monster. That is incredible. I mean, and honestly, he's got so much room in here. It's awesome like that. Oh, my gosh. The peacock's like checking him out. That He's beautiful. He's in here with the red tail too, and the owner said he's been just fine with catfish, so that's good to know. But look at that, just, oh, they're all checking him out. So cool, all right, I'm not gonna waste too much so we can get the other guys in. The arrow, the big arrow, I'm gonna, hopefully, he's been really chill, hopefully he won't jump, but I'm not gonna show too much because I don't want him to just be nice and gentle, my boy. He's been a dog, he just swam right in, he's gonna freak out in a second, hold oh, on. Yep, he is a big boy, slithery snake. He should be perfect in here. Boom. As easy oh, as look, that. He looked red. Yeah, too. he is. He's nice got some red. color. Oh, he, he swam into the net. Oh my gosh. Dude, he's so he is red. so cool. He dude. is gorgeous. And dude, he's honestly a unit. The peacock's going to size him up. The peacock's. Oh my gosh. Oh, All right, let's get the uh, <laughs> lid. But anyway, peacock's going to check him out. I think he'll be okay. He's going to realize he's pretty. I was a little slow on the video. I was watching it live. Yeah, that was incredible. Damn, the peacock's definitely bigger. We're just gonna keep an eye on this though. Yeah. Dude, he's red. The arrow might need to go in just to distract him a little bit more, you know? Um, Alright, here we go. So that other arowana, the peacock is messing with him. So I'm hoping two arowana, I know it sounds dumb, but two arowana should distract him. I'm hoping. I don't know. We'll just have to watch it, but this one's also a pretty good size. Now, this one's a jumper, so I'm kind of terrified. Okay, got him. Yeah, we got him. All 
Oh, smooth. Don't swim into the net like your friend. There we go. Smart man. All right, there's two. What are you going to do now, Peacock? Distract him. Distraction. Decoy. This is not good, though. The Peacock is not a nice man. The other one's not even that much smaller. It's smaller, though. All right. We're exhausted. This is going to be difficult because this is in the way. I don't, dude, I don't know. Can you lift that lid for me, even though the filming will be bad? I gotcha. Oh, I'm a, I'm this a god. A oh, he's so sick. I'm so Ooh. excited for this. This is what I'm This is as good as video you're going to get. It's all right. I'm lifting him up. Look, baby, shoot. Oh, my God. Shoot out. Shoot out. Wow, he's bigger than I thought. He is big. He yeah, is big. I was going to say, he might be a little questionable. He there. is big. Let's calm down and swim out of the gap. Well, I'm a little damp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What the? God, he's a... Bahama. Gosh, he is definitely bigger than we thought. He's a monster. Now, to tell you the truth, I mean, he's still got a good amount of room in this tank. He just makes everything else look like a baby. Now, my experience in clowns, like, yeah, they're, you know, predators, but honestly, typically my experience is they're decently docile. So I don't really think, I mean, right now he seems to show no sign of being, like, pissing off anybody. So, oh my gosh, the black arowana looks so good right now. Now, but knowing he can jump and the arowana can jump, I am going to make sure this thing is rocked up because I did not have my good lids on yet. Anyway, he looks honestly really cool in here. I'm just, I just want to make sure it does well because he's just so big in there. The red tail, everyone's still kind of checking out the red tail like the Oscar. He should be tough. I mean, he's a tough guy. He should be good. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. The stingray seems great in here. I don't think the peacock's going to mess with him too much. The two arrows... I think now that there's two in there, he's definitely getting distracted. I'm just worried. I mean, he, my peacock bass does not like these arowanas. I'm actually, now that the arowanas are in there and they're not associated as food, I think I'm going to go ahead and feed them. I think if the peacock gets fat and full, that'll at least, you know, distract him for tonight. But I'll tell you what, with both of them, I think he's distracted. It's really cool in here. I'm just, I'm really worried he's going to keep picking on him. But I'll tell you what. I will get back to you guys tomorrow. We are knocked. It's 12.45. It's literally, I'm exhausted, but um, we'll get back. We'll let you know how these guys are doing. I'm going to do my best to keep everyone cooking. Like I said, it was just a, it was a weird combination of fish that I needed at home, you know, so they're awesome fish, just, you know. So, yeah, but uh, we'll catch you tomorrow, next day, whenever we get to you. What is up, Aquabeast? So this is actually way more than a few months later, or a few days later. It's a few months later. It's actually December. Um, I'm actually headed back home from uh, school at UNCW, so I'll be back in the fish cave soon, so stay tuned for plenty more to come. But um, I actually had my cousin film a video of the pond and everything in it, and uh, so I'm going to shoot you over to that. Everything's doing great. But uh, here, let me shoot you to that. Yeah, so it's been like a month or two since these guys were put in here. Uh, the water level's a little low for the new water things right now, but there's one of the arrows. There's the other, and then there's the ray. They all look to be doing pretty good. And then the clown knife is over in the 125 here. Uh, that's pretty much where he's been chilling. So he's plenty of space in there. These guys plenty of space in here. They're all eating like champs, not really too afraid. Um, getting along well with the peacocks, so everything seems to be going pretty well. So as you can see, everything's doing great in the pond. So excited. The, the two arowanas ended up distracting the peacock enough for everything to be great. The clown's getting huge and doing great, and the stingray's doing great. Everything's so big, too. Uh, I'm so excited to go see him um, in a few days. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching the video. Like, subscribe, comment if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, he's a Baham, Baham, Baham.